yeah, you know, I think the lads worked so hard in the first half to get into such a good position. Um, you know, we even spoke about it at half time. We knew that Solid Hall were going to come out and, you know, have a spell that they were going to put us under pressure. But sadly enough, we just didn't cope with it in the first five, ten minutes. Yeah, you came on just before half time, came on as a subway mark, and Newsham went off injured. Mm. Yeah, you know, obviously the gaffer was a bit cautious because I was coming back from a hamstring injury. So, um, you know, I probably didn't expect to come on as early as I did. Um, uh, obviously, I hope Noosh is going to be all right with his hamstring, but you know, I hope they made my, uh, you know, my chance count when I got it. Um, so hopefully now we'll just come to the next game. You came on and Trinity let him, not blaming you, but Trinity came in and let three goals in in ten minutes, but then you pulled a goal back to put them back in it. Yeah, I hope you ain't directing that at me. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, it's nothing to do with me, but um, yeah, you know, I'm just as disappointed as the rest of the lads that played 90 minutes. You know, we, we did get ourselves into a good position and, you know, as a team, you know, we, we seen a massive improvement, obviously, from, you know, a couple of weeks ago. Um, and we really thought we could, you know, steal some points here. Um, but on the whole, I think, you know, yes, there was a couple of mistakes. Um, but like you say, we got a goal back and we didn't give up on the game, which, you know, says a lot about the character of the team as well. Um, so we've got two important games now coming up, especially being at home. So, you know, we've got to try and make the most of these and uh, get some points back. First one comes quickly on Tuesday against Curzon. You've just got 45 minutes under your belt. Do you think you're able to uh, start the game and get 19? Yeah, well, you know, the gaffer had a chat with me before and, you know, he was being cautious, obviously, with Hamshin, which is, you know, common sense. Um, but, yeah, I've played, you know, just over 45 minutes now. There, far OK, obviously got a goal. So, you know, I'll be uh, raring to go now for Tuesday. And just tell us about your goal, because it was a well-worked goal, actually. A nice cross-field ball from the left-hand side over to Elliot Hodge on the right, and he instantly put it into the box for you to power out. Yeah, you know, it was a good cross-in, like you say. Um, and Elliot was there at the back post. He, he read it well. And, you know, I just did what most strikers do, get yourself in the six-yard box and, you know, be ready for when that ball comes across. And luckily I was able to get my head on it and, you know, try and get us back in the game. And Elliot Todd, it's the first time I've seen him because I wasn't at the game last week. He looks to have something about him. A couple of times in the first half, he twisted the fullback inside out. Yeah, you know, Elliot, I've known him obviously from being at Lincoln. Uh, he has got, you know, ability. He's quick. Um, and as you've seen today, that's, you know, the top of the league. And he did turn him inside out, you know, but we just got to have that from our wingers for 90 minutes, you know. And I'm sure with the games coming up and the more he gets used to playing with us and you know getting used to the way that we play we'll see you know even more come out of them and uh, I think you're still training with Lincoln is he still training with them as well during the week uh, Elliot's been there yeah as far as I know um, obviously I've been having uh, treatment with our own physio uh, here with regards to my hamstrings I haven't been in with Lincoln uh, for a couple of weeks but uh, yeah as far as I know Elliot's there Right, so two home games in a row. I've um, said you, you hope to uh, probably get in against Curzon, and uh, I suppose you've got to target six points. I mean, lost the last three games, six points has to be the target. You know, I think three points in any game is the target. You know, we don't, we don't obviously set up, especially at home, to try and get a point. We obviously want to win every game that we play. I want to play in every game. All the other boys want to play in every game. You know, and I think that's the sign of a, a tight team. You know, everybody's obviously disappointed today, but it shows their character. It shows the character we got back into the game. You know, so on the whole, the you know probably the last month, the games that we have had, we, we have gone to Hensford, we played Brackley, we've obviously played Corby. You know, we've had games where we've put in really good performances. Obviously, I wasn't at the game Saturday, but Stockport was a good performance. Um, and the first half today against the league leaders was a good performance. So we have got it in us. So the thing is, you know, people outside of the team can say what they want. We know what we're doing. We're trying to eradicate the little mistakes that we've got, but we're a tight team. And, you know, it, eventually it is going to pay off. Here at RNA Scott, we hold the MAN Truck and Bus UK franchise for Gainsborough and the surrounding area. But we don't just service and repair trucks, we do cars as well. Our competitive car service and MOT packages start from as little as £99 and include parts, labour and VAT. 
But we're not just fanatical about vehicles. We are passionate about football too and are proud to sponsor Gainsborough Trinity.